Hi guys, welcome back. And this is because of you. Thanks for this 4,000 subscribers. And moving on to this news, guys. India Bull Housing Finance. Yes, guys. You may think. I mean, I I must thank really to a subscriber who has first asked a detailed discussion on India Bull Housing Finance. I think uh, two weeks back we have he has asked, and we continuously now posting videos about India Bull Housing Finance. And you should note that yesterday we said that. India will housing finance can get profit in the range of 600 to 800 crores profit, and they may dividend. I mean, they can they can declare dividend in the range of four to seven rupees. Surprisingly, or I don't know what the fact, guys, but you should note that the company has earned a profit of around 600 crores of profit. And the first good news is that they have declared an interim dividend of rupees six. This means we got it correct, guys. I think. Our friends and we have got it correct finally, guys. Because as you can see here, the first and foremost thing in India World Housing Finance first week or she is that further question to the provisions of the regulations. They are saying that the board meeting has declared an interim dividend of rupees six. I can zoom it, guys. So you can you can see it clearly as dividend. I mean, they are declared interim dividend of rupees six. So now so what they are going to do? The second thing is you can see, guys. I mean, we are going to analyze the. Position of the financials, and this is the consolidated uh, or unaudited results. So, if you see consolidatedly, the total income and the interest income has been decreasing. So, the total income has been decreasing. You know, guys, the main reason because the housing finance uh, income is been reducing. The main reason because the economy is not in stable position. Several houses are been in a bad state, as you know, guys. Our I think it will it will take another six to twelve months for economy to revive to the maximum base it can, and so you see that dividend income, the first term dividend income has been four thirty four crores, a jump of around two hundred crores. I can zoom it clearly, guys. And the third thing is that fees and commission has also been increased, and net gain on uh, on re-regulation of financial instruments amortized means they are earning around two hundred crores. So the total revenue they are trying to maintain, if we compare. Quarter on quarter, there has been stable uh, maintenance, but we see year on year it is around thousand crores decrease in the amount of revenue. So total revenue has been come down, and the finance cost, as you can see here, guys, finance cost has also finance cost has come down to two zero five five crores. And also you should note that employee benefit expenses are around one fifty crore. The total expenses is two thousand seven hundred fifty six crore. And you should see that even though earning the Less amount of revenue they have extended their expenses. I mean, if you see, guys, previous quarter they have earned around two seven three four crores of expenses, and now they have spent around two seven five six. And profit before tax. This what is said, guys, six hundred thirteen crores. Yesterday we said this can be the range of six hundred to eight hundred crores in normal way, and they have given the profit of six hundred thirteen crores, guys. And what was the main reason due to high provisioning of tax? I mean, high provisioning of expenses. Let us see what was the main reason, guys. The net loss in fair value of the sales. You can see here 60 crore here and 324, 327 crore. Here. I'll zoom it, guys. As you can see here, 60 here, 327 here. So that was the main reason for these expenses to jump. And the total profit of it is coming around to 551 crore. But that has been a de decrease in the Profit, but if you think, guys, I mean, in this economy level, uh, where housing company has already gone under insolvency process, I'm speaking about the one of the finance. But this company has been trying to maintain its profitability a little bit higher. And the main fact you should note in this, guys, because as our economy is in down, I think uh, this amount of profit is being expected by this company, and the price valuation is already perfect, guys, because you know that. The book value of this company is already 280 rupees. Now, but the share price is around 260 rupees. Sorry, guys, the book value is around 400 rupees. I thinking so, and the book and the share price is now around 200 south. So, so I think it is a normal valuation for this kind of results. And as you can see, guys, the total um uh, or the total expenses are the total profit are given. But also giving this away, we want to see uh. What is the main thing and what is a no so count because it's very very important. So the first no so count we have given is that financial results have been prepared the as per the applicable reporting financial framework. So that is not the main point. The second point is to note that uh, the 
companies that they have followed and net gain on de degradation of financial instruments has been increased. And you see that the fourth point, you see, get fourth point. The Citizen Whistleblower Forum has filed a public interest litigation before the Delhi High Court, wherein certain allegations have been made against India Bulls Group. The company has firmly denied these previous allegations have made without basic research or inquiry. The company also filed a Previously, application where the notice has been issued, the management has concluded the allegations made a red petition. There is no merit impact, and this matter is a sub judicial pending in the Delhi High Court. So, what they are trying to say, I will explain clearly, guys. Actually, what is the problem happened? What is the problem happened means a public interest litigation was filed against India Blossoming Finance. They are saying that the India Bulls Group has been suing the funds between the between various companies and also dummy companies. And various public interest litigation has filed against the case against India Bulls. So, what India Bulls Group has done, what India Bulls Group have done is that they have filed a review petition against it regarding that they have baseless inquiry, which means without any proof or without any much of inquiry, without any much of inquiry, the public interest litigation is public interest litigation is filed, and it is very very bad. And we are not we are not wanting it. They have said, guys. And the next point you should note that, but still though the court is pending, the case is pending in the court. And the third last point you should note that the standard measurement they have given, I mean they are given the total net worth, and they are given, guys. So moving on, let us see the individual performance, the standard performance. As you can see here, the total profit is around. 485 crore. Oh my God! It's a jump in profit, guys. As you can see, here, guys, there is a jump in profit. We see uh, quarter and quarter from 300 policy crore. It is now 485 crores, which means there is jump in profit. But what was the main reason for this jump in profit? The reason is because the reason is that the tax impact because uh, there has been a tax increase, but the main thing is that the expenses has come down a lot and expenses has come down a lot and where is the main reason is finance cost has come down and the third thing is to note that the other expenses from 80 crore it has come down up to 54 crore so that is the main point to note guys and the final thing they have given all the credit ratings regarding this company so finally what we want they have given the explanation regarding the limited review report so moving finally how to expert India Bulls to trade tomorrow guys so this is the main question. I think there would be a neutral performance in this share, guys. The reason is because you already told until and unless the economy revives, I think this share will trade in the range uh, of 260 to maximum 330. Maybe it can test the lows of 180 once again. But I think with this uh, stand loan, they have improved. But if you see, guys, we see the consolidated is not good. And the third point you should note is that for public interest litigation, I have already showed you guys the public interest litigation of this company is still pending and this is not yet finalized, but there are also a problem in it. So we want to see guys and people have asked that uh, what is the court case and this is the court case guys, public interest litigation against India Bulls Group regarding swooping of funds and uh, giving to dummy companies or binami companies and this was the news and to it, India Bulls have said that they have baseless comments. I mean, they are saying that uh, public indication, indication files are saying that they have baseless comments or they not, do not do any research work before saying this anything. And even though they have said this, the case is undergoing and there is no confirmation regarding it. Maybe within the uh, next quarter, this case should get completed because it, this case itself has reduced the sharp price of India Bulls to a large level. Uh, you should note guys, once upon a time, the share was in the range of 1300. Now, the share is just around uh, 200 range. The book value is also great. But if you see guys, it is since this housing finance company, we cannot predict the way through which this company has run the past few years. But you should note that this company has given a de declared a dividend for this quarter and which will be paid before Thursday, March 2020. So, Good news for you, this guys. And the third thing is that results consolidatedly, consolidated results are not good, but standard results are very, very good. And this is our view on India World Housing Finance. So, if you have any doubts regarding any other shares, 
leave in comment section below so that we could post a video about it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys see you in another video very soon